Hey, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I was gonna say welcome back to my channel, but I'm pretty sure this will be the first upload for this channel. So I want to welcome you here. Thanks for joining me. Um, and I'm really excited to get started in this uh, in this journey, or on I guess on this journey. Um, so for my first video, uh, before I get into anything else sim challenges or build challenges or anything like that and really start to get into the game um i wanted to introduce you guys to a family that i've been working on and building for a while now and who i feel has um a lot of things left to accomplish as well i guess you could say uh anyways this is lila she is an adult and she has a ton of children um which yeah uh, yeah yeah it just kind of happened so originally i don't know if i can get her like genetics here and i'm not 100 percent sure why this is as a mother or a fit maybe we could change that while we're here anyways um but she was originally married to Devonte, which i believe is a npc like a base character in the sims anyways and then he just recently left her they got divorced um and he came out that he was gay so he left her and um two of her sons went and moved out with him just to be with their dad and funny enough she just has the four girls living with her and two of her other daughters have also moved out so in total she has uh one two three four five six seven children um five of them are with Devonte. one is with a basin named brian which was kind of a one night stand after um after she got divorced and yeah we'll explain it's one of these girls right here michaela and then the last two aria and Adrian, uh, audrina audrina are both dons um uh, daughters who you would recognize as well so yeah lila a little bit about her she is she loves the outdoors um she's outgoing she loves to be social and she is a foodie she's actually topped the culinary career and just recently quit from that which was really hard for her but she was ready for a change and uh right now she's focusing on the botany aspiration which she is pretty well almost um accomplished um, so yeah, so I really like Lila. Um, I think she's been through a lot and yeah, it's just kind of, kind of going through it. Um, but she's doing well now. Her and Dawn are married. I'm going to change this outfit because I really don't like this, um, summer outfit. She wants to go tank. That's fine. We'll keep it black. We'll do that. My cat is very troubled today. Maybe you have a little stroke. I'm okay. Distractions. Um, let's go. Let's go back to Starfish. Okay, so that's Lila. Sorry, I had to do that quickly. It's been bothering me for a long time. I just haven't edited it yet. Um, she's also really into fitness. Oh, I wonder if we could see their likes and dislikes here. I'm sorry if it's really laggy on this video or on stream or anything. It's I'm working on my setup and it's been tough. Um, so she doesn't have any color likes or dislikes. She dislikes backyard music and likes romantic music. And she likes, and this is all just stuff that came up on her own because when I created the sim, likes and dislikes weren't a thing quite yet. Um, so she likes cooking, gardening, fitness, mixology, and video gaming so far. Um, and yeah, we haven't found very many dislikes other than that one music genre. So then Dawn, 
most of you guys will know him. Um, why I decided to get them together, I don't, I don't really know, to be honest. Um, he was just kind of around, and it just kind of happened like that. Um, his likes have turned out to be he enjoys classical music, and he's enjoying cooking fitness, obviously, we know that, and handiness and mischief, actually. Um, he really likes being a dad, so he's focusing on being a big, happy family and on his parenting aspirations. Um, and as you guys know, he's romantic, non-committal, and active. Um, so yeah, so things have been going really well with them. I haven't changed him at all or done anything just kind of, yeah, moved them in, and then they actually eloped in, um, in, uh, in the park, so that was, it happened really fast. Uh, this is McKenna, she is Lila's last baby with Devante, she is now an adult, or sorry, a young adult, um, she's pretty awesome, I like McKenna a lot, she is a super good painter and really enjoys painting as well. Um, she loves art, she's a perfectionist, and she is creative, so that's kind of the angle we're going for her. She just got her first job. She looks kind of evil here though, that's interesting. Um, she's kind of mischievous and troubled as a teen, but she actually got some really good aspirations when she um, leveled up to young adult, so yeah, I don't know why her face is so mischievous, but um, some of her likes and dislikes are she likes alternative and backyard music, and she likes comedy, fitness, painting, piano, and video gaming so far, and we haven't figured out any dislikes so far from her. Um, and like I said, she just, just joined the painting career. Now, Michaela, so she's the kind of oops baby from the one night stand that Lila had on um, New Year's Eve. Uh, her dad is Brian, I don't know his last name, um, who I believe is another just base game sim. Um, she is a party animal. Um, She's outgoing like her mom, she is a glutton, and she also is jealous, and I don't know, um, I find Michaela's kind of, um, I guess kind of troubled, I mean, her dad's not in the picture, and she's really lucky, because Don kind of took her under her wing, and parented her a little bit, so she, she does have that, but yeah, I think she's kind of troubled, she doesn't, she also just, um, aged up to young adult, she doesn't have, um, a job or anything yet she's just kind of slacking she slacked a lot in high school as well and uh yeah that's kind of her so you guys can let me know which which direction you want to go with her I'm not I'm not 100% sure um but I kind of got the like kind of slacker moocher feeling from her and just kind of like troubled and stuff so yeah we'll see we'll see what happens this is Aria who is Don's first daughter and she is a pretty cool chick. She's really into um, the outdoors as well. Um, just like her mom, she wants to be a gardener. She's a bit of a geek and a goofball, and she's a teen right now. And I haven't done any mods on these um, characters. This is how she aged up. I really like her cool hairstyle and... Uh, yeah, she's just kind of like a tomboy. Uh, she really likes being active as well. Um, she, Like I said, she wants to be a gardener like her mom, maybe. Yeah, I think we'll just have her help out with the garden and stuff. Um, she only has one like, which is alternative music, and one like in activities, which is fitness. She is kind of a fit buff. She likes getting active, um, and she really liked that as a kid as well um being active just like both her mom and her dad so I mean it makes sense and their newest little addition which I think is going to be their last child because they have seven um not together but total is Audrey Audrina I'll keep calling her Audriana for the rest of her life um she was just born not long ago she just aged up to a toddler 
because babies, well, you can only do so much with them. Although Lila is now level 10 parenting, which you get the super baby care, super efficient baby care, I think it's called. And that is really cool because when the baby's crying, you just click on that and it'll, the sim will go and they'll take total care of the kid. So that's amazing. Um, and Audrina is wild. So she's spirited and full of energy. These toddlers love to explore, get energized, earn movement skills slightly faster, and get sad if they haven't been outside in a while. So I thought that was suiting because her mom really likes the outdoors. And um, yeah, that's, that's the Walters family. So I will go and introduce you to... Um, her other kids, I suppose, and um, I will probably leave that part right here um, after I introduce you to the other Sims. Okay, guys, so I don't know what happened to my last recording, so hopefully this one records, but I have to go ahead and reintroduce you guys, because I'm going to move on to... Um, the two girls and then the boys as well that have moved out um because the recording didn't save gotta love technology right so we're just loading in there all right so this is callie um i'll give it a second to load this is callie she is Devonte and lila's oldest twin daughter um, and I love her. I think she's absolutely amazing. She is so sweet, so kind. Um, she wants to be a best-selling author just like her dad. However, we did have a stint where it popped up that she didn't like writing um, because she got writer's block. And I said no, she shouldn't admit that yet because I, we kind of forced her to write for a long time because she had a deadline to meet, and I feel as though writer's block doesn't mean that you don't like it, it just maybe means that you kind of need a break. Um, so we'll see if she comes back and ends up liking writing, but if not, maybe we'll switch her, because she does like video gaming, um, like her twin brother, and she likes painting a lot, and uh, fitness, and she dislikes handiness, she was fixing up some stuff, and she's like, nope, this is not for me, so... We'll see how um, she kind of develops in adulthood um, and maybe switch her to the painting career instead of the, um, I believe she's in the freelance writing career right now. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you guys want to switch her or I think we'll just wait and we'll, we'll play them and kind of see how it plays out a little bit first and then see if we want to switch her careers. I'll let you guys decide that. She is a creative sim, a perfectionist, and she is also neat. And this is Cheyenne, her little sister. She is the, she is a twin girl. She's Easton's twin, and she is fabulous. She loves fashion. She's a bit of a fashionista. She loves posting on social media um, and being in the limelight. She is a friend of the world and just loves interacting with people and being around people and all things like that. She's in the fashion career. I can't remember exactly what it's called right now, um, but she's she's doing that. And she is also um, trying to blow up her social media page to kind of promote her career, maybe open her own fashion business, her own clothing line one day. We'll see. Um where she goes but yeah she um is also a genius though just like her twin brother and a bookworm and she's actually a vegetarian which I thought was really really neat for her um and but she is a renaissance sim she wants to um read a bunch of books and be good at a lot of things and she is good at a lot of things already um and that kind of goes along with her bookworm as well um, and then for likes and dislikes, she likes cooking, fitness, uh, just like her mom, painting, um, she dislikes video gaming, just like her brother, and, uh, she actually enjoys writing a lot, so, um, she's been writing, like, fashion blogs and columns, um, with her career, they haven't done very well, because her writing isn't um, her writing skill isn't really high right now, but maybe she can continue doing that and kind of get some publicity that way because she does enjoy writing and uh, she also enjoys painting. 
taste in music. Um, there's only one. Oh, she likes spooky music. Yeah, for some reason they had spooky music playing in the house and they all really enjoyed it. So that was fun. Um, and then, so they're sisters. And then as you'll see, they're living with Marina Ransom. So Marina, kind of a long story, is actually Jeffrey Langrab's daughter, one of them. Um, basically what had happened is Nancy Landgrab passed away and Jeffrey got remarried to someone, but she's actually just a gold digger looking for his money. Um, cause he lived in a huge man mansion and she was a single mom and kind of like on her own struggling. So they got together and she already had a son. And as you guys know, Jeffrey has a son. So they both aged up and moved out. Um, anyways, and they had two sets of twins and a singleton baby together, and, um, this is one of them. This is Marina. So she has a twin brother, Jax, who she does not live with right now. Um, she is super fit. You can see her muscles, and she's really slim. Um, I believe she's, like, level nine of the fitness, um, skill. Anyways, she is a perfectionist, um a klepto, which was interesting when she aged up, and she's also active. Um, some of her likes and dislikes, she likes spooky music, Latin music, and hip-hop, and she likes fitness, obviously. Um, and then other than that, we haven't figured out very many other likes for her, so I'm excited to keep playing her, her and kind of develop her personality a little bit more. Um, but her, she's also in the fashion career, her and Cheyenne are best friends and they moved in together and they decided that they wanted to get a job together. So that was kind of fun. And then this guy here was actually created by my daughter and he was created, he was one of three, um, boys created in what we called the bro lot. Um, and it was because we needed a boyfriend for Callie um, because we really wanted her to have someone who was kind and nice for her and um, someone that she could get married to and stuff. And he ended up, she ended up falling for um, Amos here. So he is a computer whiz. He's really, really smart, really, really good with computers. He's also a dog lover. Um, He's romantic, and he is also neat, just like Callie, and he, when he moved in, brought along Woody Allen, which was kind of a, I don't know how we got Woody Allen, he just kind of, like, auto-spawned, and he's kind of ridiculous looking, but he's really cute. Um, I just aged him up from a puppy to an adult pup, and he is stubborn, jumpy, and adventurous, um, Anyways, yeah, he just kind of auto spawned in, and we did. We just decided to keep him, uh, and and that and that's that. Yeah, I, can't, I don't really have much to say about that. Um, so now I'll take you over, and we'll go meet the guys, and then I'll leave that this part here. All right. So uh, this is Devonte, and like I said, I believe he is a base game sim. I'm not a hundred percent sure though. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, because I, I probably am. But I don't remember creating him, so to speak. But I don't know. Maybe I did. Anyways, um, but yeah, him and Lila used to be married. And then um, just before Christmas, actually, he came out and told Lila that he was gay and he was moving out. Um, so they stayed pretty good friends. Obviously, their romantic level is, like, all the way red. But they're still pretty good friends. They get along really well. Um, all their kids are grown up now. Um, their youngest just is McKenna, and she just aged up to a young adult, so, um, yeah, they're doing well together. He, uh, has the best-selling author aspiration, um, just, that's where Callie gets it from, and he really enjoys writing as well. Um, he likes lullaby music for, for some reason, anyways, doesn't matter. Um, and he really enjoys cooking, guitar, fitness, which I found really weird because he was never really into fitness when he was with Lila because she's really into fitness and would, you know, try and get him to work out with her and, and and stuff like that. And he was never interested. And then he leaves her and loves fitness. But I guess that's the way it rolls most of the time. Um, he likes painting and video gaming as well. 
he is an outgoing sim who is self-assured and he's a good sim so yeah that's Devante he's pretty he's pretty neutral I don't know I don't yeah I don't know where we'll go with him but he's doing good with his author career this is Dallas so he is Callie's twin and Dallas is kind of a mean guy he is in the criminal career he wants to be a chief of mischief um so he's dastardly is that the right word dastard yeah okay dastardly um he's a goofball he's mean and he's also pretty hot-headed like i said um he was kind of a rebellious child he would make a lot of messes he was kind of rude his manners were really low um and uh, yeah, so I just thought that that was the way to go with him. He likes lullaby music radio, though, just like his dad. Um, and he really liked being mischief and video gaming as well. And then the last one of the family that we need to be introduced to is Easton. So this is Easton. He is Cheyenne's brother, um, sorry, Cheyenne's twin. And Easton I originally, he has this because originally I um, thought he was going to be mischievous and kind of mean and evil like his brother, but it, it didn't really turn out that way. Because um, when they were younger, Dallas always used to pick on him, like when he was a toddler and a kid and Dallas was a kid and a teen, he used to really pick on him because obviously Dallas is mean and I thought that maybe Easton would grow up with some resentment, but... It, it didn't really turn out that way. So Easton's actually going to be an astronaut. He joined the astronaut career, which is the first time I've played that career branch. So I'm excited to play that. Um, he has a nerd brain, so he wants to be book smart and handy. He's also a glutton. Um, he is a goofball. Uh, uh, so he does like to be mischievous a little bit and kind of play around, joke around. And he's also a genius, just like Cheyenne. Um... And then, just like his twin sister, he does not like video gaming, but he does like fitness, just like his mom. Um, so, yeah, that's Easton. Um, he's kind of he's kind of chill. Um, like I said, he's going to be an astronaut. So, yeah, that'll it'll be interesting to see how he does in life. But yeah, guys, that is uh, my intro. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. We can't forget Ratchet. And this is Ratchet. Um, this is a cat that they adopted when Devante and Shy or no, Devante and Lila were still married. They adopted this kitten, and then when Devante left Lila, he brought the cat with him. Um, and yeah, this Ratchet is. Um, he's frisky, he's a glutton, and he's also clever. We have a lot of gluttons in this family. It's, uh, it's interesting. Anyway, so yeah, so I haven't, he's, uh, the first pet that I've ever owned and, and, um, taken care of, so I'm kind of excited to see the different interactions that you can do with pets and animals. Um, but if I'm being honest, like, I haven't played this household a lot, um, they moved into Brindleton Bay originally. It was just da uh, Devontae and Dallas who moved in with another set of Sims because they had no money. And then they got up enough money, so they bought their own little house in Brindleton Bay, um, which came with the cats and dogs pack. And then I forgot to mention, but Callie and Cheyenne are living in Newcrest. I downloaded and just placed like a bunch of lots in Newcrest. And I think what we're going to do is, um, we will do some build challenges and build up the rest of Newcrest um, as we play this uh, this family. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys want to keep seeing this family. I feel like there's a lot of timeline left um, kind of for the big happy family aspiration that Lila wants to get. Uh, you know, we need her children to get married and we need them to start having grandbabies and stuff like that. So. I'm really kind of excited to see what happens with this family, and I hope you guys are too, but let me know down in the comments if you want us to keep playing this family, um, or if you want to start a new family. I mean, I don't mind having more than one on the go at once, at, at all, um, but yeah, I really like this 
the Walters a lot, and I know there's a ton of them, so it's going to take a little while to get used to, but I think that we can kind of, um, we can do it, we can make it work, and I like how there's a lot of different storylines to work with as well. But yeah, I think I'll leave this part here, guys, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. It helps me grow, um, and yeah, let me know down below if you guys really do want to keep playing this family. Alright, talk to you soon. Bye!